Thank you very much for being here. Uh, we uh, have uh, one third of the delegation is not here. Uh, Angelo State and uh, the recipients of their award could not make it. And uh, so uh, we give them an excused absence. <laughs> uh, we also uh, have uh, uh, Chairman of the Academic Committee uh, for the Board of Regents, Nancy Neal, uh, is here. And Nancy, would you stand and be recognized, please? <laughs> Nancy will help uh, present the awards, and I asked her, do you want to do the medallions or the checks? And she said, I'm better with the checks. <laughs> and, uh, so I like that. Tom Neal might testify to that. <laughs> uh, this is a, a fun event. Uh, the Chancellor's Council for the last 13 years has been giving outstanding awards for people that are doing outstanding service uh, in teaching and research. And this year, we're adding commercialization, uh, which is a big plus and, and has a bright future for Texas Tech and creates more opportunities for those that are involved in teaching and those that are involved in research. Uh, the importance of a university, uh, I've always said you've got the the uh, faculty administration on one stool, uh, one leg of the stool, and the other two are the taxpayers and all, and then the third one's the uh, uh, students. And it's so important uh, to us to have uh, great faculty members and that uh, I would put ours up against anyone. And I think they do an excellent job. I'm very proud of them. Uh, that was one of the things that Duane was very impressed with when he first uh, came here and, and talked to people, interviewed people, was the depth and the uh, enthusiasm of the members of our faculty. And uh, we, uh, we wish we could recognize even more. And for those of you that are members of the Chancellor's Council, uh, you have contributed and that uh, the part of the money uh, goes for things like this. And also part of the money goes when we fly in uh, top scholars. Uh, Dr. Nellis and I were talking not long ago. Last, this last Monday, I had a student that had applied at Texas Tech uh, in my office, and that on her uh, SAT, she made it 1,600. And she's considering UT Dallas, UT Austin, Stanford, and Yale, and I personally think that we'll get her. I mean, we really went all out, and we've got somebody calling her uh, at least uh, once every three or four days. And, uh, we don't want to wear out the welcome, but we don't want them to think, you know. And so if I call on you and ask you to call her, be sure and call her. Uh, but it's, uh, uh, th those are the type of people that, that uh, we're recruiting, and those are the type of faculty members that we're recruiting. Uh, the same, the equivalent of a faculty member being a 1600. And the new people that we've added uh, in this last year have been uh, excellent. Uh, I think that the, uh, one of the names that I was going to read out, and I, I will hear uh, just a moment where the two from San Angelo could not be here, uh, Dr. James Womack, and that uh, is professor of music and uh, specializing in double reed instruments. And uh, he is, uh, uh, teaches uh, uh, the students not only on an individual basis, but is well known throughout the campus and uh, spends uh, an enormous amount of time uh, with students, trying to help them improve uh, their skills. And that uh, as far as research, uh, Dr. Scott Williams uh, was a recipient, and he is an assistant professor of physics, and uh, he uh, uh, has done an outstanding job, and that we're very proud of him. Uh, he has uh, secured more than $330,000 in grants and uh, published 13 uh, peer review articles in the uh, last year. And so he, he's been a very busy individual uh, doing that. Uh, the, uh, tonight, uh, we will have balmy weather. Uh, <laughs> we'll have a lot of things, but balmy will not be one of them. And that uh, we will have the Chancellor's Council Gala. I look forward to each of you, uh, the recipients, being there. And uh, this allows the people that provide the money for these awards to meet you and get to see you, get to know you, and uh, see the type of people we have. And uh, we're very proud of you. At this time, I'm gonna turn the program over uh, to my friend and, and uh, partner, uh, Dr. Uh, Dwayne Nellis. Uh, you, you know, we do some things together. Uh, on Tuesday morning, we left here 
at uh, six o'clock in the morning and uh, we got back uh, we uh, went to Indiana and, and we were trying to sign some things get some things finalized that be announcing before long and got back at three o'clock and still had a full day to go and uh, you get to know someone pretty well and you get to appreciate them and and uh, I was really impressed that he wasn't grouchy at six in the morning <laughs> and that uh, he cannot say that about me, I'm sure. But uh, <laughs> even at that, uh, we had a good time and uh, worked well together. And Dr. Dwayne Nellis is going to now come up and announce their uh, recipients. Thank you, Chancellor. Appreciate that. Thank you. The Chancellor didn't complete the rest of that story. Actually, it was about 11 o'clock that night of the day we got up. We were at the airport at 6 a.m. 11 o'clock, we were still emailing each other uh, on some other related business, but it was uh, one of those days. But we have a lot of those days. But, but part of it is because of the passion, the, 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 the feelings we have from our heart about what a great institution Texas Tech University is. And I think that's reflected today in the award recipients that we will be uh, recognizing uh, really outstanding faculty. And as I've said to many as I've uh, spoken across campus and I've had the chance to travel around the state of Texas, uh, we have faculty that could be anywhere but have chosen to be at Texas Tech University and at the Health Sciences Center. Uh, they've chosen uh, when they've had options to be other places, but this is the place they want to be. And they're so committed to student success and to providing leading edge discovery and creativity as we advance uh, this great institution. So to start with, I'd like to um, r recognize uh, the distinguished teaching award recipients. And again, this is my first time through this event, but it's my understanding the award recipients, as I call their name, uh, would you please come forward and the chancellor will be presenting you with the check and award along with uh, Regent Neal. And uh, we'll also have an opportunity for a photograph to be taken of you with, uh, with a Regent Neal and with the Chancellor. So first of all, I'd like to call forward Dr. Claudia Cogliser. Dr. Co Cogliser is an associate professor in the area of the management uh, at the Rawls College of Business. She was inducted into the Texas Tech Teaching Academy in 2013 and named a Texas Tech Integrated Scholar in 2011. She received her PhD from the University of Miami and previously held positions at the University of Oklahoma and Oregon State University. With more than 35 publications featured in scholarly outlets, her teaching style is inspired by theory and service learning. Dr. Cogliser's research interests include leader-follower relationships, authentic leadership, entrepreneurial orientation, scale development, and multi-level analysis. Congratulations to you. The next uh, recipient is Dr. Melanie Hart. Dr. Hart serves as interim chair of the Department of Health, Exercise, and Sports Science and associate dean in the College of Arts and Sciences at Texas Tech University, teaching courses in exercise and sports sciences and assisting the university in distance and online education. A member of the Phi, Beta, Phi Kappa Phi, the National Association of Kinesiology and Higher Education, and the North American Society for the Psychology of Sports and Physical Activity. She was inducted into the Texas Tech Teaching Academy in 2008 and has been commended by students for, for creating an atmosphere where they are free to express opinions and ask questions. She received her bachelor's and master's degrees from Texas Tech University and earned her PhD in motor behavior from Auburn University. Congratulations, Dr. Hart. The next recipient is Professor Brian Shannon. Brian Shannon is the Charles Tex Thornton Professor of Law at Texas Tech University, serving as a professor in the School of Law since 1988. Dr. Shannon, Professor Shannon serves as the university's faculty athletics representative, FAR, as we call them, to the NCAA and the, and the Big 12 Conference where he also serves as president. He's president of the National 1A FAR Association. 
Additionally, he's an appointed board member for Star Care Specialty Health Systems, an elected member of the American Law Institute, a past president of the Lubbock Area Bar Association, and was appointed by Governor Rick Perry to four terms on the Texas Governor's Committee on People with Disabilities. He truly is an outstanding teacher and outstanding citizen of the university. Dr. Shannon received his bachelor's degree from Angelo State University and his law degree from the University of Texas. Congratulations, Professor Shannon. Our next award recipient is Dr. Elizabeth Trios Castillo. Dr. Trios Castillo is an associate professor in the Department of Human Development and Family Studies and director of the graduate minor in cross-cultural studies and the online master's degree in youth development programs. Among numerous accolades, she was named to the top 14 Hispanic professors in Texas in 2013 and received the Texas Tech President's Excellence in Teaching Award in 2012, which is a tribute to her goal of transforming the classroom into a cross-cultural experience. She received a double associate's degree from Castillo Arts Conservatory in Costa Rica, a double bachelor's degree from Iowa State University, and it was a Fulbright student and went on to pursue both her master's degree and PhD in human development and family studies from Auburn University. Congratulations to you. And now it's my pleasure to introduce our distinguished research award winners from Texas Tech University. And first of these is Dr. Jacqueline E. Cañas Carrell. Carol, sorry. <laughs> so, Jacqueline, if you would come forward, please. Dr. Cañas Carrell is an associate professor in the Department of Environmental Toxicology and serves as an associate director of the Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics Center, or STEM Center for Outreach, Research, and Education. Among numerous accolades, this year she received the Texas Tech University President's Excellence in Diversity and Equity Award and the Carl Storm Underrepresented Minority Fellowship, a tribute to her passion for helping underrepresented minorities succeed in higher education and science. Dr. Kanas. Carell received both her bachelor's degree in zoology and her PhD in environmental toxicology from Texas Tech University and was a postdoctoral research associate at the United States Environmental Protection Agency from 2005 to 2006 in Corvallis, Oregon. Congratulations to you for your success. Our next recipient recipient, Dr. Mayuka Das, is out of the country, but the Dean of the College of Business is here to accept the award on his behalf. He wants the check, yeah. Dr. Das is an Associate Professor of Marketing in the Rawls College of Business Administration and serves as Program Director for the Rawls Business Leadership Program. A faculty member at Texas Tech University since 2008, Dr. Das received the Beta Gamma Sigma Professor of the Year Award in 2013 and has published 19 journal articles in highly ranked journals, as well as four book chapters and 37 conference proceedings. He received his Bachelor's of Engineering in Electronics and Power from Nagpur University in India, and a Master's degree in Artificial Intelligence, Master's degree in Statistics, and PhD in Business Administration from the University of Georgia. Congratulations to him. Dr. Sandra Houston is our next recipient. Dr. Houston is an associate professor and director of the Personal Financial Literacy Program in the Department of Personal and Financial Planning here at Texas Tech University. And by the way, just as an aside, that is the number one ranked financial planning program in the United States. Very proud to have that at Texas Tech University. Dr. Houston is an associate professor and director of the Personal Financial Literacy Program in the Department of Personal and Financial Planning. She led the internationally recognized financial literacy assessment project from 2007 to 2009 which developed an instrument to measure financial literacy that is now included as part of a national consumer survey. Dr. Houston has produced a total of 97 scholarly works, including 31 refereed journal articles. She's received a total of nearly $280,000 in research funding and has been recognized by 62 national and international academic conferences. 
In 2012, her article, Measuring Financial Literacy, was selected as the best paper of the year in the highest ranked journal in her field. Dr. Houston received her bachelor's degree from the University of Manitoba in Canada and her master's degree from the University of Guelph in Canada and then her PhD from the University of Missouri. Congratulations. <laughs> Next is Dr. Siva Panali, Vanali, excuse me, Vana Pali, excuse me, Vana Pali, excuse me, Vana Pali, yes. Please come forward, Dr. Vanapalli, sorry. Dr. Vanapalli is an assistant professor in the Department of Chemical Engineering at Texas Tech University with a research focus in the areas of microfluids, cell biomechanics, and worm biology. He has published 35 referee journal articles and has been involved with 12 successful research proposals totaling 1.88 million and including a presti prestigious career award from the National Science Foundation. The impact of his work is reflected in more than 470 citations, an H index of 14, and multiple invited talks. His laboratory was the first at Texas Tech to receive a Cancer Prevention Research Institute of Texas grant for cancer research, as well as the first to receive an NSF Innovation Corps grant to explore commercialization of technology discovered in his lab. Dr. Vanapalli received his bachelor's degree from the Indian Institute of Technology in India, his master's degree from Penn State University, and his PhD from the University of Michigan. Congratulations, Dr. Vanapalli. <laughs> and congratulations to all of our recipients. Thank you. He was about to beat me to it, but I still get to introduce Dr. Ted Mitchell, the president of the Health Science Center, and uh, he's done an outstanding job. Uh, we've seen some uh, great strides that uh, it doesn't matter whether it's medical school or nursing or, or physical therapy or, or whatever, that uh, Ted has uh, brought us to, to new, uh, new levels. We appreciate Dr. Ted Mitchell. Chancellor told me right before this, since Brian May and Angela State didn't make it up, I had an additional half hour. <laughs> this is a great day for everybody. This is kind of the, uh, the, uh, the, the height of, of a, a way for us to recognize those amongst us who represent the best of what we wish we could be and what we strive to be. So congratulations to everybody from TTU. On the Health Sciences Center side, we will start with Dr. Dan Blunk. Dr. Blunk is a college and the master of the Department of Medical Education, as well as an associate professor of clinical psychiatry at the Paul L. Foster School of Medicine at the newest university in the Texas Tech University system, the Texas Tech University Health Sciences Center at El Paso. Uh, he played an important role in developing the psychiatry clerkship and has received seven teaching awards, including Faculty of the Year, Lifetime Teaching Award, Outstanding Faculty Award, and Preceptor of the Year Award. In addition, Dr. Blunk was inducted into the Medical Honor Society Alpha Omega Alpha AOA and serves as a counselor for AOA as well as an advisor for the Psychiatric Interest Group. And he's co-authored two children's books with Dr. Marie Liner on addressing behavioral issues for children through a wellness approach. He received his bachelor's degree from the University of Texas at Austin, for which we forgave him, <laughs> as well as completing his medical training at the University of Texas Medical Branch in Galveston. He then did his internship at Scott and White Memorial Hospital in Temple, and as soon as he realized it was A&M, uh, he then went on to complete his residency in psychiatry at the Mayo Clinic. Dr. Blunt, congratulations. You make us proud. <laughs> Dr. Nikita Marashkar. Dr. Marashkar is an assistant professor in the Department of Biomedical Sciences of the School of Pharmacy at the Texas Tech University Health Sciences Center in Amarillo. Joining the university in 2008, her teaching profile covers courses at all levels of pharmacy student education. She's been awarded six student-nominated awards, including multiple Teacher of the Year and Outstanding Faculty Honors. Mirage Carr received her Bachelor's Degree in Veterinary Sciences and Animal Husbandry from the Maharashtra Animal and Fisheries Sciences University in India. She received her PhD in Veterinary Biomedical Sciences from Oklahoma State University. Congratulations, Dr. Mirage Carr. Dr. Rubini Pasapathy. 
Dr. Paspathy is, is an assistant professor in the School of Allied Health Sciences at the Texas Tech University Health Sciences Center. Joining the, the university in 2003, she has taught in both undergraduate as well as graduate programs in the Department of Clinical Administration and Rehabilitation Counseling, receiving the Teacher of the Year Award from the TTUHSC uh, Student Senate on multiple occasions. A fellow of the American College of Healthcare Executives, she's published in the areas of healthcare policy and delivery, as well as research and clinical self-efficacy among healthcare professions. Pasapathy received her bachelor's degree in social sociology, as well as her master's degree in business administration and her PhD, all from Texas Tech University. Congratulations. <laughs> Those were the three can uh, chancellor's teaching awards. Now for our Distinguished Research Awards, we have three recipients as well. First is Dr. Thomas Abruscato. Dr. Abruscato is a professor and chairman of the Department of Pharmaceutical Sciences and serves as the Associate Dean of the Graduate School of Biomedical Sciences at Texas Tech University Health Sciences Center in Amarillo. Joining the School of Pharmacy in 2000, his research investigates novel therapeutic targets to improve brain recovery after a stroke, and he's been funded by the National Institutes of Health as well as the American Heart Association. Currently a chartered member of the NIH Drug Discovery for the Nervous System Study Section, Abruscato's research expertise is utilized in the areas of brain drug discovery and neurodegenerative diseases. Prior to coming to the Health Sciences Center, he received his doctorate in pharmacology from the University of Arizona, as well as his postdoctoral research, which was funded by the, NI by the National Research Service Award from the NIH. Dr. Abruscato, you make us proud. Next we have Dr. Guillermo Altenberg, and uh, Dr. Altenberg is out of the country, and so the, uh, the distinguished Dr. Luis Royce is going to accept the award in his, <laughs> on his behalf, and Dr. Ro Royce told me, do not go up there and tell them that, that Altenberg all of a sudden got very old. <laughs> we also have doc Dr. Patricia Ristamuno, Dr. Altenberg's wife, uh, here to make sure that Dr. Royce doesn't run off with that check. <laughs> Dr. Altenberg is a professor and vice chairman of the Department of Cell Physiology and Molecular Biophysics at Texas Tech University Health Sciences Center. He joined the university in 2007. His research has solved the crystal structure of nucleotide binding domain dimer, developed a novel spectroscopic technique, and secured more than $4.4 million in external grant funding from the NIH, the AHA, American Heart Association, CEPRIT, the Cancer Prevention Research Institute of Texas, as well as many others. Guillermo has authored 57 published articles and 13 reviews of book chapters. He received his doctorate and medical degree from the University of Buenos Aires in Argentina. Congratulations, Dr. Royce. <laughs> and I will tell you, Dr. Royce was responsible for bringing them here, so you can take part of that check. Yeah. <laughs> Dr. Ina Urbosch. Dr. Urbosch is an associate professor in the Department of Cell Biology and Biochemistry at the Texas Tech University Health Sciences Center, securing nearly $3.8 million in external funding, including grants through the NIH, the Department of Defense, as well as the Cystic Fibro Fibrosis Foundation. Her research examines transmembrane proteins associated with many human disorders, such as cystic fibrosis, as well as multidrug resistance of cancers. Based on her expertise in protein engineering, as well as the ability to produce large amounts of recombinant protein in vitro, her lab has led the way on structural characterization of multidrug resistant transporters. Her work has resulted in 41 peer-reviewed papers in high-impact journals, including collaboration with the Chang Laboratory, a science paper on the structure of P-glycoprotein, the first ever structure of mammalian ATP binding cassette transporter, and it's been cited more than 500 times by other researchers in just four years. She joined the Graduate School of Biomedical Sciences in 2003 and received her PhD in chemistry and biochemistry from the University of Kaiserlautern in Germany. Congratulations, Dr. Herbosch. <laughs> Dr. Ted Reed. Dr. Reed is a professor as well as the vice chairman of the Department of Ophthalmology and Visual Sciences and serves as the director of the Ocular Cell Biology at the Lubbock campus of Texas Tech University Health Sciences Center. 
A founding scientist of the company Selenium, Dr. Reed co-developed a technology called SELECT that prevents the formation of biofilms and the spread of infectious bacteria when added to the polymer surfaces of medical devices. Protected by seven issued patents and multiple U.S. and international patent applications, SELECT helps to save lives, offers cellular control across industries, and cuts medical and other expenses. With TTUHSC for more than two, two decades now, Dr. Dr. Reed received his bachelor's degree from Occidental College in Los Angeles, his master's degree from the University of Arizona, and his PhD from the University of California at Los Angeles. Dr. Reed, congratulations. And I should have mentioned Dr. Reed is receiving the first Chancellor's Award for commercialization. The second Chancellor's Award for commercialization goes to Dr. Mingtao Zhang. Dr. Zhang is an Associate Professor of Biomedical Sciences at the Paul L. Foster School of Medicine and a Principal Investigator in the Center of Excellence for Infectious Diseases at the Texas Tech University Health Sciences Center at El Paso. An accomplished vaccine immunologist, his research, which has been funded by the NIH since 2002, is developing new generation vaccines against respiratory pathogens such as influenza as well as agents important for biodefense. Dr. Zhang holds several patent applications related to new vaccines and therape therapeutics against anthrax, botulism, and influenza, and he has served as a member of numerous grant review committees for the NIH as well as the Department of Defense. Dr. Zhang received his bachelor's degree from Sichuan University in China, his master's degree from Chinese Academy of Sciences, and his PhD in biochemistry from Tel Aviv University in Israel. Dr. Zhang, congratulations. And I'll just say to all of the Health Science Center uh, recipients, as well as all the TT recipients, you guys do. You make us proud every day. Appreciate it. forget your glasses. <laughs> you might have to write a prescription for me. I want you to be able to read and write. Um, first of all, congratulations to all of you. We're very proud of you. And uh, this is one of my favorite moments when, when we do this. And tonight, uh, you'll be celebrated and uh, uh, you'll have a chance to meet with the people that uh, fund this operation. And uh, I look forward to that. We've always had uh, great chancellors, uh, Gala, Tonight we'll be tested uh, with the weather. And uh, one year, uh, Regent Neal will remember this, but one year we had a recipient from the College of Engineering and, and when he was introduced, he was so happy and thrilled that he stood in his chair. Uh, <laughs> you don't necessarily, I mean, that's not a requirement. That's not a requirement. I, but if you do, you know, so, so be it. Uh, but uh, that, that one was a little unusual. Uh, for those that, uh, that are here, uh, that there will be ads, uh, of course, in the Daily Torador, and that the Lubbock Avalanche Journal will have uh, ads tomorrow for those that are from this uh, community. Uh, the Amarillo Globe News will also have an, an ad with their pictures, and the uh, El Paso uh, newspaper, El Paso Times, they will have an ad, and, and then the San Angelo Standard Times. We buy ads in these papers because we want people to know. You know, your friends know, and the faculty know, and a few like that, and there'll be a little article in the paper. We want to buy a big ad and say, look at what we have. We're proud of you. You excel. Uh, you excel it. And this is, is one more thing about three things. Number one, we teach. We teach well. That's our number one thing that we do. We research. And now we're awarding people awards on commercialization. That is, that's the future of this university, that not only we make decisions and, and we, we teach well, but we research. And from that research, we're able to commercialize and create jobs and uh, create additional funds uh, for Texas Tech and the state of Texas and the nation.